The sun has finally come out, so I'm gonna settle in and show you guys where I am painting. Hey friends, so I finally made it to my painting spot. It took a little bit longer than I had thought and I didn't know if the sun was gonna come out or not, but it looks like we have sun intermittently. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I am working with. So here is where I am set up off of this beautiful pathway. And I decided today just to bring my pastels and um, charcoal and pencil crayons. I'm gonna sit down and kind of show you what's in my bag and then I'm gonna get started. So when I work outside, there are a couple different tools that I use. The first being some oil pastels. What I typically do is I will start outlining the forms that I see um, in the space around me with charcoal and then I will go in with oil pastels to kind of add that vibrancy and color. And what often happens is I will go back to the studio and add some form of color with acrylic or oil and I will start to kind of fill in the blanks. But this is, I guess, a way, my way of recording what I'm seeing and feeling in this natural space. And I think that's the beauty of painting outside because things are changing and evolving every minute and you are kind of watching the movement of natural forms and you're watching the movement of light as well. So, start this piece I'm just gonna go in with Windsor Newton medium charcoal and I'm just gonna start sort of sketching what I am seeing and feeling this is gonna be more of an abstract interpretation of those forms and lines that I am seeing What I'll usually start off doing is making a marking with a darker charcoal. I find this way it kind of sets the tone, it gives you a little bit of structure and what I tend to do is go in with a lighter pencil and fill in some of those blocks. Next I'm going to start going in with a lighter pencil and kind of filling in some of these emptier negative spaces complementing the initial lines that I made, but also just kind of adding to them, adding a little bit more light, a little bit more movement to the piece. going back in and just adding a few more lines, darker lines that kind of complement this initial mark making that I made in the beginning. It's really beautiful orange color as you can see even in the background there there's a lot of orange surrounding me and I just want to go ahead and start adding that color in. It's 
So what I think I'm gonna do is try and find a different painting spot, give you a different angle, try and do some work and <laughs> attach this phone to the tree somehow or this tripod to the tree and see if I can get a different angle for you guys. So I'm going to take you along with me and we're gonna try and find a different spot. Just so you can see where I'm painting, this is the canvas so far. Again, in just very early stages, this is my uh, little pencil case. And like I said, I'm gonna try and find a different spot where I can show you a little bit more of my process. Look how beautiful it is here. So I don't want to move anything. Um, I have found a pretty cool spot here inside of the forest, a little bit off the trail. Uh, the camera is holding on to a very small uh, piece of branch. So I'm gonna be very careful and get started. So as I showed you over there, I started with a really nice vibrant orange. I'm gonna go back in and kind of tone that down a little bit and get some more of your colors in so I'm gonna go in with uh, this kind of beige color. It has a little bit of an orange hue to it. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of that in to give some contrast as well. This is sort of a flushier color, but it kind of adds seeing but I am kind of looking around and seeing the forms of the branches and the grass as well so that's certainly informing what I'm creating. I'm going to go in with a little bit of white as well so that when I add a couple more colors to the canvas it's going to um, just kind of soften them a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some red, some black, and a little bit of brown to pick up some of those warmer tones from the trees. And then I think what I'm gonna do is make this a two-part two series, and I will pick this back up next week. So I'll put a couple of colors down, and then I will start this painting next week. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of week.